May is Women's Health Month, so today we're taking on the biggest body problems women face. So if, you're, if you've ever wondered what the heck is going on inside my body, Dr. Lisa is going to show us. The female body is so fantastic. Basically, I'm going to show you how we become women and where that goes until we get into our teen years. Basically, this is the egg, okay? This is produced in a woman's ovary. All right, and what you don't know is our sex chromosomes determine our sex. And that sex chromosome is actually determined by the sperm, ladies. So whether or not the sperm has an X or a Y tells us if we're women. So if that sperm is carrying an X, then we're gonna be girls, okay? And then what happens in the womb is the sex organs begin to develop at six weeks of gestation. And then at about 12 weeks, your, your OB can actually look on the ultrasound and determine the sex because then that's when the sex organs are determined. And this looks like either a penis or a vagina. And then as a little toddler, things are going on pretty good and then you get more fat in the body. And this fat, this fat body ratio, actually produces a hormone called leptin. And that actually triggers the brain. So basically, up in the brain, there's an axis. It's called the, the hypothalamus pituitary axis. And it's right in here. And basically, there's a gonadostat right there. And that triggers the pituitary to produce a whole slew of hormones that are going to cause things like a growth spurt. It's going to cause things like pubic hair and cause you to get taller. But first, what it does is it causes those little beginnings of breasts, which we call breast buds. All right, once those start, then everything kicks in and you're gonna start your period. But you have to ovulate, and then what happens when you ovulate is the lining of the uterus is shed, and then again, you can grow for about two to three years after your period, and that takes you into your teen years when you start looking at boys. Uh -huh.